update applications on your MacBook, you need to go to self-service. I'm going to look for self-service here in my dock. I do have it, but if you don't have it in your dock, I'm going to look down here on the launch pad, find self-service and open. And when I go to self-service, I see that some of, the, some of the applications say reinstall underneath them, and some of them just say install. The ones that say install are ones that I do not have on the computer, and the ones that say open are applications that I do have there. If they say reinstall, they need an update. I'm going to click underneath Cisco WebEx to reinstall this application. Um, it will take just a minute to execute it, and when it's finished, um, it will be there ready for me to use on my computer. You can see that it's downloading. Um, this is the only place that you can update applications on your computer. You cannot update them from the application itself or for the web, from the web. So you want to make sure that you come to self-service every once in a while to reinstall or update these applications. The applications will not give you a warning oftentimes when there's a reinstall available for you in self-service. So it's a good idea to visit self-service every once in a while. Check underneath the application to see if there is, a, if there is an update available for you to, to download onto your MacBook. And you can see that um, this one is still installing. It'll take just a minute. And when it's done, it will be available for me to use. Finishing, and it is done. So if I want to check, for instance, underneath Cisco WebEx to see what version of this application that I'm running, I can actually click underneath here um, to see what it is that I have. I'm going to click on About WebEx. And it will tell me what version of WebEx I'm using. So if I'm in doubt at any point, if I'm running the version that I, is most updated for me to use, that's where I can go ahead and check. Thank you for watching this latest installment of 3-Minute Quarantine Teaching Tips. Stay tuned for next time.